Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso, and I wanted to um, talk to you guys about um, what to expect when your female is uh, within the first, you know, couple weeks of her pregnancy. And uh, just thought it would be kind of informative. I've had a lot of people asking me about how I know that Cashmere's pregnant, things that I look for. So if you compare video from before. Um, and you look down underneath here, hey, the baby girl, you'll see that um, she is <clears throat> enlarged here a lot versus other video I've done. I don't want to say the word because that affects uh, the channel for some reason. <laughs> Pretty sure it does. So, uh, so anyway, so you know what they are. Stay. Um, and then another thing you want to see, she's going to follow me around because she's, when, when females are pregnant, the hormones, it makes them really uh, clingy. So, um, we'll wait for her to get up and then I can show you. <clears throat> so anyway, so, um, that's another thing. Behavioral changes, they get really clingy, uh, kind of sleepy, really sweet. Um, also on the other side of that, they can get really testy with the other dogs, a little bit, maybe more dominant, um, less patient. And so you have to watch if you've got you know, multiple females in your house, th these high ho hormonal times are when you need to really be watching to make sure that you don't have any fighting happen. Okay. Because that's, if it's going to happen, that's when it's going to happen. <clears throat> so another thing that we want to take note of, and let me see if she'll get up. Cashmere, what is that over there? What's that? Do you see it? Where's, what's that? Good girl. What is it? What is it? All right, so if you look at her behind back here, this area right there. So when they go into heat, that whole area enlarges and it gets really big. And anybody who's seen video of mine, um, they can see that. And at the very late stages of the heat, it goes down. Um, that's usually at her most receptive time. Let's see if we can narrow in on that a bit. Yeah. So um, at the very... Um, at the, at the most fertile time, that actually decreases the swelling and goes down, but it doesn't go completely down. Now, if your female was bred, but it goes completely back down to what it was before she went into heat, then most likely she's not pregnant. Um, you want it to still be somewhat enlarged. Not like it was um, in, the, in the beginning of the heat, but more like it was at the end of it, d during her receptive period. So... Um, and then a lot of females will have a thickening of the waist pretty early on. Not all, but a lot will. Um, you may see in some dogs, especially first time mothers, you may see, um, some morning sickness where they, um, you know, might throw up a little bit. So you, you do want to make sure that even if you were not doing, um, twice daily feedings that you begin to do twice daily feedings. I feed cashmere in the morning and I feed her at night. And you want to make sure that you're feeding a much higher quality food than you would have previously. Because if you don't, they're going to lose weight and they're going to have visual signs um, of a lack of nutrition where they'll actually lose hair. They'll lose big patches of hair. And as you can see, cashmere is really shiny, and that's because we feed her just, we give her everything she needs. We don't, we spare no expense. Money's not an issue. Um, we don't treat her like a commercial animal where we need to make the most amount of profit off of her, so we feed her economical food. We literally shower her with food, with nutrition. Um, and that's why all, all of our dogs are, though. That's why they all shine like they do. And so... Um, so anyway, so you want to you wanna switch to a, a really high-grade dog food. A lot of times a good um, puppy formula um, dog food, um, you, know, you know, something that's good. I would also start doing some raw supplementation. Um, you know, I, I love to give cashmere um, beef cheek um, whenever she's pregnant. I mean, it's just, it's just great. It's got fat. It's got... Um, some of the, the muscle and all that, it's just, um, it's just great. And so, and they need that, I promise you, they really need it. So, um, the thing is, is the reason why you don't want them to lose weight is because when they start nursing, if they are not already having a surplus, like I will actually let cashmere gain a little bit. You can see here, like she's not, 
you know, I've, <clears throat> like I said, I fed her today, so I, I prefer to bulk my females up a little bit um, in the early stages of pregnancy. That way, whenever it gets to the late stages where they can't, there's so many puppies and there's not much space, so they really can't eat as much as they want to. So um, try to make food available for them. But even as such, um, sometimes the pressure can make them get um, stomach sickness, like nausea. And so, you know, you really want to try to do the early work so that when it gets tough, they are at, they're already at a physical advantage. And then on top of that, you want her to have a surplus so that when she starts nursing, that you, that they don't lose as much weight. I mean, most females are going to lose a lot of weight and there's nothing wrong with that, but how much weight your, your female loses is going to have a lot to do with how small she was whenever she went into the, um, to the pregnancy. So, you know, that's the only time that I would ever advocate f letting your dog get just a little bit chunky. Not a lot, but just a little bit. You know what I mean? Like a healthy, good, solid roundness to her. And, um, and that's just going to give her the best chance going forward. So, other than, like I said, the behavioral changes of maybe getting a little testy. Um, she's going to get tired and they get real cuddly, which is like awesome I love it like cashmere is the funnest dog when she's pregnant I swear she will like lay on top of you and snuggle with you she's so funny um and um yeah it's just a great time I think they really enjoy it um you'll see mothering instincts like the way that she was treating um Tennessee over here and licking on her you'll see a much higher protection drive like you're seeing here um you know they just you know, it's, it's all hands on deck and you'll even see that in preacher, you know, he knows she's pregnant. So they, um, once the breeding took place, I mean, they were just, uh, if they were a level seven, they're a level 10 now. And, and I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, it's at a certain point you have, you do have to allow instinct to do its thing. Um, and like I said, we're fixing to move out to the country. There's coyotes. There's, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. Like I'm not, I'm not going to have a problem with them protecting the property there so my um my willingness to or my necessity to get onto them for barking at strange things is adapting to that change um there are obviously some things i can't allow um but having said that there is um definitely a dialing back of the constant hey be quiet you know we have neighbors here because we're literally leaving in about a month and a half um th it got prolonged a little bit because of our appraisal or whatever, I don't know. People who buy houses, you guys know, it's weird things happen. So we got delayed, I guess, about a month. So um, so it's still happening, but it's just taking a while. So so anyway, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that the dogs are going to be prepared for that, and that and that we, um, you know, like I said, we're not we're not going to be as opposed to them making a vocal presence because we're going to have things like chickens and maybe turkeys. And so we, we, because of the fact that we want to have animals and, um, maybe I can even talk Alex into letting me get like one of those Highland cows or something. I think they're awesome. So, cause we don't have a lot of space. If I had the space, I might even try to like adopt a horse or something. I don't know. Maybe I would feel comfortable. I'm getting so old now. And I like my knee that I I'm scared to, ride horses because you know they say that if you get one it's just a matter of time before you fall off and buddy I'm not sure that I have any more fall offs in me <laughs> so but I have heard that mules don't spook like that so that would be awesome um I, I love equines <laughs> so and I wouldn't mind even like adopting some horses just to keep as as what we call in Texas yard art you know what I mean like I wouldn't I don't need to ride them. Um, I just, I think they're beautiful and I enjoy their, their company and I like watching them move. And, um, you know, if I was younger, I would, I would probably still want to ride, but I'm just, I can't fall anymore. Y'all <laughs> I just can't do it. I cannot run the risk of not being able to be a, a person who's able to get out and walk around and hike, you know? Um, I, I want to be, uh, careful because it's such a necessity to me and I don't ever want to sustain any kind of injury where I'm forced to have to be stationary so maybe a mule you know maybe a mule and I don't have a problem with that um I've heard a lot of great things about them so I would want a big one though <laughs> 
So anyway, we'll see. We'll see. These are the musings of a, a woman who has no idea what the amount of acreage that I have can sustain. <laughs> but I'm the type that wants to fit as many animals on it as possible because I just, I just love the company of animals. So, uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what, what transpires. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on, on cashmere and what, what we're looking at when we're, when we're making these kind of comments about how we know that she's showing and things like that. And, you know, you just got to go back and look at the video and compare how she looked before. Um, not, not, not way close to when she had the puppies. I mean, we're talking right before because they, they always tighten up, um, like they always get right back. It's like it's the perfect amount of time for them to reset back to normal again. So you'll see that all her bottom, it had, it had already kind of pulled up. But if you look too far back, then of course it hasn't come up yet. <clears throat> so it's literally just at about the time they go into heat, they fully, um, they fully uh, heal up from, from the last um, pregnancy. If you, if you exercise them, if you let them. Breeders who like keep their dogs in their backyards and they don't, um, they're on chains or they're in kennels and they don't actually get to move around and exercise. Those females, they don't come up because they're not getting any of the exercise to allow that to take place. So, um, you know, having a really droopy bottom underbody like that is not a indication of just being overbred. It's, it's, it's an indication that there's a lack of exercise, um, a lack of proper nutrition and, um, and honestly, <clears throat> you know, it, it's, it, it really is. If, if you look at the, um, the people who breed that, um, that give their dogs the exercise that allow them to, um, bounce back, it's, it's a totally different dog as you see with cashmere and you will continue to see with her, um, because we, we treat her right. We exercise her, we give her proper nutrition. She's always going to bounce back. Ooh, look how good she looks. Hey, pretty girl, man. She is gorgeous, y'all. Really beautiful female. Really beautiful female. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? So Midnight and Tennessee know they have a they you know you ever heard that saying that real recognizes real? <laughs> well that's that's midnight. That's midnight and um, in Tennessee. They both know. Ah, 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 Kashmir, I hear you, woman. Yeah, I see you. Ah, 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 ah. No. Shh. No. I'm going to do a mouth bite. Shh. No. Shh. <clears throat> so she got onto them because they were running around acting all crazy. Is as you, ah, what in the What are you doing, you crazy woman? What are you, a billy goat? No, you need to get down. Crazy dog. Yeah, so that's why she's getting onto her because if you look, I'm gonna show you something. Cashmere, back off now. Move back. Shh. So, um, so I'm gonna show you something. Other people might be more worried about that. I'm not. Velocity is in no danger. Um, so, um, anyway, so. Velocity, as I've said, has that anytime you see Cashmere go after her, it's because she's doing that crazy behavior stuff. And what she's been trying to do lately is she's been trying to push her weight around and she's been trying to, she's been feeling her oats a little bit and she's been trying to come up and rank. And so she's been, especially because these puppies are getting bigger too, she's been trying to push them around some. And so, and because she's not really, um, she's not, she, she doesn't always have the healthiest level of energy because of that. Um, her interaction can be, can, can explode in a way that it really technically shouldn't, if that makes sense. It's like, it, it's like a person that has really bad social skills and, and like a normal interaction, everybody would be fine, but like they take it totally wrong and it becomes a huge argument and like, it's like a big deal. Right. And that's kind of how velocity is because of the, because of, you know, just her, the environment that she was raised in because of her mom. Ah, 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 get down midnight now, right now. Get out of that. That's a bad dog. See, they need so much more space to run. I can't wait till we move. <clears throat> so, um, so anyway, so that's why cashmere has a problem with it. Is the is the is the general energy level. So, ah, you better.
better watch out. She's run into me. <clears throat> so anyway, maybe I'll maybe I'll do another video letting these two run around and like wear each other out because they need to do that. So, but velocity you have to watch. I don't I don't let velocity's energy level get too high because a lot like my pities of the past. Um, if you let her energy level get too high, nothing good ever comes of it. So it's really better to suppress it. Hey, hey, midnight, get off of it now, woman. You crazy monkey lady, get over here, jumping all over stuff. What was that, jumping on, three little monkeys jumping on the bed. What was that? She's jumping on my air conditioner. Woman, you, what are you doing? Oh, you're bad. You're a very bad dog. Oh, she's bad. You see that look on her face? You're a bad dog. Shh. I see, that's well trained. She's got a good amount of shame. <laughs> you want that in a dog. That's a bad sign if you don't have it. Anyway, alrighty, well, I'm going to let y'all go. I got to go inside and get stuff done, but I wanted to take some time to talk to you guys while we were out on a potty break. And, uh,. You know, kind of just talk about some stuff and like we usually do, see how the dogs are doing. My knee is um, feeling a lot better today. Feels like I have like a bubble in it though, so it kind of sucks. But feels like I need to pop it, but I know better than to try to do that right now. So anyway, um, you know, it's a lot better. Hopefully I'll be on the mend soon enough. So I'll talk at you later and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy your Friday. Bye.